Greetings and salutations, my good friends. This is one and only Light Liger here, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to stake your Tron on the Tron network, how to vote for super delegates, and also how to claim your voting rewards. And in a future video, I will be also teaching you guys how to create your own tokens on Tron because that's been something that has been requested by some people. But let's get started without the further ado. So first thing you obviously need is a Tron wallet. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Tron Link on a desktop with the Chrome extension. It is also available on Android and iOS. The Android version is a lot more vast compared to the uh, extension and you can actually do everything on the mobile side in just a one website. So it's in a lot of ways it's actually easier to do on mobile and a lot more streamlined so to speak. But in this video I'm going to be doing it on desktop because it kind of gives you some other options as well. And a lot of the apps are obviously people are probably using the desktop version at least I hope so. And there are other wallets that you can use um, such as Huobi Wallet, I believe, Trust Wallet, and Clever App also have an inbuilt system and also Token Pocket. And uh, one that is not listed actually here is Atomic Wallet. And then there's Exodus. But even though you may not have, in case of Exodus, you don't have an actual staking feature on the wallet, what you can do uh, with, in case a lot of these wallets is that you can import your private key or the seed phrase into the Tron Link wallet. And that's what I've done uh, in case of my Tron Link wallet. So I'm going to be logging in here first. You're going to be entering your password. And here I have my um, wallet. I You can add multiple ones if you so desire. It's very convenient in that way. And what I've done is I've imported my Exodus uh, Tron key into the Tron Link because they don't have actually inbuilt staking on the wallet. So this is a lot more convenient due to the fact that I'm able to just import from any wallet my private keys into the Tron link and stake it that way. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go in to tronscan.org and there's actually, make sure you are on a right link because there's been phishing sites which basically are not Tronscan. And what you need to do is connect your wallet. You can do, by the way, this on Ledger as well. And you can import a wallet. This is not the safest way, so use Tron Link. And in case you haven't logged in yet, you need to refresh the page because we just logged in, as you can see. And we're going to be now clicking here and using Tron Link. And now we are logged in. And here we can see on how much Tron we have, how much Tron power we have how much bandwidth we have, and energy. So the bandwidth is basically what is used to send tokens from an address to an address. And energy is something that is usually used on when you're going to be interacting with smart contracts. And what you need to do here is to go to committee and representatives. And here you can see all the super delegates. There's 27 of them. And then there are the uh, SR partners, which are people or the candidates, which are outside of the 27. And this is where you choose who you're going to be voting for. And the important understanding here is that there you can vote for multiple ones. So let's say you're going to be staking 1,000 TRX. You can allocate half of those votes for Binance and half of those votes for Poloniex, for example, if you so desire. Obviously, support decentralism. That is something that I talk about. You don't want to give Binance all the rewards because they don't really build anything in exchange for the ecosystem. So it's kind of like waste to give Binance all that money. Better give it to Poloniex or, um, well, BitGuild is also another one. And here on the side, you will see the voting sharing ratio. That means how much they are going to be distributing to you from the rewards that they will be getting. Some will be giving 100%, meaning all of their rewards to you. And the APR is the how much you're gonna be making in a year. So if you're gonna be putting thousand, that means that I would be getting 90 Tron per year on this uh, percentage here that is shown. These are fluctuating and they change. And you know, so all of them have different, but it seems to be around some seven to nine percent. And then you have obviously things like Sesame Seed, which I've delegated in the past. They don't pay you in Tron, they pay you in their own token. 
So there are these, you know, representatives that pay you in some type of own token, which has value. So it's different based on, and there you can do research. There's a, um, where is it? This is actually not the page. Um, yes. Yeah, so here you can have the community and votes. You can see the actual information for the team. So let's say who are we pool? We can see the breakdown. Okay, this is in Chinese. Let's take another one. Um, and they will tell you what basically they are doing with that money. So we have the Bit Guild, for example, here. And here they tell you the CEOs, what is the server configuration and the budget, what they're using. You want to hear their, you know, what they're going to be doing. You have to also think it like this. If you're going to be giving money to good people in the ecosystem, they can build other things which will inherently build more value into the ecosystem. Okay? So there's a there's a Transcan team, for example, the team information, we can look what they're gonna be doing. And some of them have actual info, like how much they're gonna be distributing. I'm trying to find where they're gonna be talking about that. So let's say, um, let me TRX market here, for instance. Okay, this is, by the way, I think they're dead. That, that doesn't exist anymore. Um, so make sure you also vote for um, ones that, okay, Sesame Seed has your good page, for example. So 80% um, of the rewards are distributed Sesame community in no proportion to the all votes cast. 10% goes to retain the Sesame seed and 10% are retained to operating expenses, for example. So some of them have breakdowns and you can research into that, but we're gonna be now doing the actual voting. But in order to vote, um, we have to obviously stake, right? So what we need to do is go into our own profile by clicking here and we are going to be going into where is it again so here we can obtain resources they're going to click obtain and here um, we are able to basically stake so this is the amount that I have on my wallet here 533 we're going to go back to the wallet and as you can see there it shows you the available balance and frozen balance the frozen balance is the amount that you have frozen, okay? And frozen, you, I think there's a two week period until you can unfreeze that again. Make sure you understand that, or is it 72 hours? Uh, we can look that later. And basically this is the staked amount. And remember, even if you freeze, that, that is staked, right? But you won't get staking rewards until you vote, okay? And I like to have energy because I think that's important. So I'm gonna be, putting out 433, that's what we're gonna be freezing. The recipient address, if you're gonna be freezing for another person, you can add another account here, but I'm gonna be confirming. Uh, yeah, 72 hours is the amount. So I'm gonna be now freezing 300, uh, 433 uh, of my Tron. There's gonna be a request signature to freeze it. And now we're gonna be clicking freeze. And now the tokens are frozen. It takes around one minute until the amount has been frozen. So whatever, you know, the blockchain has to um, see it. And now we can see the actual uh, transaction here on the resources. And this amount will be soon updating. And also the total energy that we will be updating once the amount has gone through on the blockchain. And then on the witness page, um, this is, by the way, if you want to run for Tron Super uh, representative that may cost you 10,000 TRX. Um, but yeah, we are not going to be doing that here, obviously. So what we're going to be doing now is going to be going into the votes tab again and clicking votes, voting. And here, now we have the amount of votes where we're going to be voting. So... Um, Right now, it's not showing us anything because we don't, the, the transaction hasn't confirmed yet. So let's try to reset this one and let's try to put out numbers. So I want to put into, let's say, Bit Guild, and here we can put all the amount. Uh, that is now because it hasn't given us the votes that we just froze. So it's going to be taking a bit of time, but I'm not going to be waiting that in this video. Otherwise, it's going to be a 20 minute video. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be voting for BitGuild um, this time. And I'm going to be giving all of them my votes that I currently have. And then I'm going to be clicking voting. 
and now it's going to be requesting a signature again and we're going to be clicking accept and now we have voted and they have been submitted and now we're going to be getting um, 9.36 percent on basically on the 33 tron we put just put in so that's how you basically um, get everything done and i believe on the wallet let's see where it is so somewhere here you can so there's thing i forgot to mention some super delegates are sending you the money instantly okay and some of them are not going to be sending you it instantly where well, you have to claim it um, from the thing. So uh, I believe here, um, this is the mobile version, okay? And in the mobile version, there you, you do the votes and everything. And as I said, it's probably much easier there. And then there is basically an unclaimed rewards tab. So in case they don't send it you automatically, you have to go claim it from there. And then you just click claim reward and it will be getting it. So that's how easy it's actually on mobile. The um, rewards, here is the unclaimed rewards. Okay, so um, and now, okay, finally found it and it was stupid because I thought it was different. So, and now we can basically withdraw and that amount of 15 Tron. And let's see how much we have right now. Um, so we have right now available balance of 180. 100.80 and we're going to be clicking withdraw and accept and transaction submitted and it's going to be taking a, probably a second well it's going to be refreshing maybe it already applied here on the tron and let's refresh here here's a refresh button also on tron scan it's going to be showing you how long it's going to be taking and receive send okay it hasn't actually updated that but it's probably going to be taking you a couple of seconds but this is where basically you're going to be able to withdraw um, all of those rewards um, from the staking. It's obviously a lot more easier on mobile and with Clever Wallet and all those other ones. But uh, this is the mobile, sorry, the desktop version, how to do it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.